Welcome to the official Farmville podcast. My name is Lex Alicious, and I'm the Farmville Community Manager. This week, we're going to be going over some of our newest releases. I will be answering some user-submitted questions about the Farmville team, and you guys are all going to get a sneak peek of things coming to Farmville in the near future. We've had a blast working on some exciting new features for you guys, including a very special one we're sure you guys are going to love. But more on that later. For now, let's go over some highlights from last week. Well, last week we had a lot of very cool and some very unique limited edition items make their way to the market, including a very special invisible cat, long-eared rabbit, and caterpillar. We also continued to roll out items for our French Chateau theme, as well as a new best of mystery box that can be purchased from the market for 16 farm cash. This best of mystery box features some of your favorite items from past mystery boxes, so make sure to grab one of these while you still can. And probably the biggest feature this week also happened to be something that our community has been requesting for a while. New stallions can now be found wandering around Farmville that will allow you to get foals from your horse stable. For those of you who might not be familiar with this feature, here are some quick details that will get you into the swing of things. Periodically, you will receive a pop-up informing you that a wandering stallion has appeared on your farm. This pop-up will allow you to post a feed to your wall. Ten of your neighbors can click on this feed to give shelter to the wandering stallion. Now remember, unlike other lonely animals, the wandering stallion is an event, not a permanent animal that can be kept on your farm. If you choose to give the wandering stallion shelter, he will automatically be placed into your horse stable. If you have a wandering stallion, you have a chance of receiving a foal next time you collect from your stable. If you already have a wandering stallion in your horse stable, you will not be able to get another. Clicking on multiple wandering stallion feeds from your neighbors will not increase the chances of finding a foal. When a foal is born, you will receive a pop-up informing you that your newborn is eager to explore the world. This pop-up will allow you to post a feed to your wall, and five of your neighbors can click on this feed to receive a foal. The type of foal you receive is determined by the types of horses in your stable. This means that if you have a stable filled with pinto horses, you are much more likely to find a pinto foal. One quick thing, uh, you guys might not have known this, but the pink pony, brown pony, high kick horse, and spectator horse will produce a brown foal. Once you harvest from your stable and find a foal, you will have to click on a new wandering stallion feed to have a chance of making another foal. However, the limited edition white stallion can be placed inside your horse stable and will act like a permanent wandering stallion. Each time you harvest from your stable, you will have a chance to find a foal. If you receive a foal, you will not get a consumable. This is really important to remember if finding consumables is important to you. If you do not get a foal, when collecting from your stable, you will still have a chance of receiving an arborist, farmhand, or a hundred XP. Now remember folks, your baby foals are more than just cute. Baby foals can be brushed every 24 hours and they cannot be placed inside your horse stable. And, as per usual, I want to invite all of you to come over and join me on the Farmville forums to give your thoughts and feedback about all of our latest features. Remember, the forums are a great place to connect with other enthusiastic farmers, as well as a good place to get the latest updates and information. A link to the Farmville forums can be found in the description of this video, and I look forward to seeing some of you soon. I also received a very touching message from one of the members of our community today. I may not always get to talk to you guys one-on-one, -on -one, but I do take the time to read all of your emails, and I love hearing from you. HiDef2005 is a huge fan of our podcasts and shared his story with me about how Farmville helped improve his life. Hi, Def. I just want to give you a quick shout-out and thank you for your wonderful message and your loyalty to Farmville. Players like you are the reason for our success, and you rock. Everyone else, if you have a story about how Farmville has made a difference in your life that you would like to share, we want to hear it. Emails and messages like the one from Hi, Def are what make our jobs wonderful. Now, let's go ahead and get into answering some questions that come straight from you, our community. Our first question of the day comes to us from Dragon's Heart, who'd like to know if the baby animals will ever grow up. 
Well, Dragon's Heart, you're certainly not alone in wondering if our baby animals will stay babies forever, as this is one of our most asked questions. The good news is that we are planning on a way for farmers to have their calves and foals grow into full-grown adults if they choose to. We're currently working out the details right now, but the tentative plan is to introduce the option sometime this spring. Once we have more concrete date in place and more information, we'll make sure to update you as soon as we can. Our next question comes to us from Aunt Ornery, and she'd like to know if we can clear up the click issue. For those of you wondering exactly what she means by this, there's been a rumor going on for some time now that feeds for rewards, like collectibles, mystery eggs, and others, become inactive after you click the OK button on the reward page. In other words, supposedly once the OK button is clicked, no one else is able to collect from the feed. We've made a few announcements about this on the forums, but just to keep things completely clear, this is just a rumor. Clicking the OK button does not keep other players from being able to use that person's feed. Each reward feed has a certain number of people that can collect from it before the reward is no longer available. For example, finished collection feeds allow five neighbors to collect from them before they're no longer available. For more information on how many neighbors can collect from a feed, please visit the Game Updates section of the Farmville Forums. The guides there for each of our features have this information and other detailed information. Just to reiterate though, once and for all, the OK button rumor is just that, a rumor. And our last question comes to us from Crazy Girl, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong by the way, and she asks, how many gifts can be held in the gift box? As you may or may not know, on February 24th, along with everything else that we added to Farmville, we also increased how much can be held in the gift box, expanding it to hold 50 items in total. And if you have a question that you would like answered in the weekly Farmville podcast, please come visit us on the official Farmville forums for more details on how to enter. All right, and on that note, let's go ahead and get into discussing this week's Coming Soon segment. We actually have quite a bit of cool stuff to talk about this week. I know we've been teasing the new pets feature quite a bit in the past few weeks, and I'm very happy to let you know that the awesome new dogs will be making an appearance in Farmville very soon. I know how excited all of you have been about this feature, and I want to thank you all for your thoughts and feedback in the past few weeks. We also have a very unique themed animal mystery box coming soon that will feature only winged animals. This box will feature some very cool new animals, so make sure to grab one of them when they make an appearance in the market. Spring is also well underway, so make sure to be on the lookout for some great new spring-themed features and items in the coming weeks. And last, but certainly not least, we have a new feature coming your way soon that is sure to get everyone excited. Farmville will soon feature new challenges that you can complete with your friends for various rewards and maybe even a little bit of bragging rights. And that's about it for me this week, farmers. Again, my name is Lexi, and I will see you guys soon. Happy farming, everybody!